If you jump where you have been the whole time, you will die every time. And it's only there that's like, oh, I got you. Everywhere else, you still, even if you mess it up, you have a chance to get back. To some degree, you can freak out and it doesn't work out. But there, it's just like, oh, you're, you're just dead. That's it. You just had to know. Good job. Even if you do know, just being unable to see it. Not good. So I noticed in all of the integration stuff. All the integration stuff, the proto walls daddies are... They don't let go. They really don't. Regardless of anything, you just kind of die if you get attached to them. Which is, I... I despise that a lot. I don't think it should be like that. You have to pull out Pro GLs. If you do it, if you're fast with it, you can get out. But once you're like in it for a bit, you can't really get out. And even with the teleport, like it held on. That was pretty good. 21! I want that 19 again, though. Shove it into my face. 119. Thought I was dead. Weird. If you use an explosive spear, you should be able to get out, but... So I'm using the, I'm using this model again just to get used to it, but and the hand tracking stuff. I'd love to know what people think about it because I'm gonna I'm gonna be adding this and I'm also gonna be making my own thing and some of the stuff I do notice is like the teeth you can see them because of the outline, global outline function, you can still see the teeth despite the mouth being closed, along with a few other little bits. Two of them. They're too powerful. A spear. got some superpower to make protos fall asleep for two seconds or something i have no idea I, they're i don't understand how they work in the slightest we don't have to deal with them at all in any speed run except for intended percent and even then i don't think we yeah we don't actually go by the any we just have to go past two daddy long legs in pebbles because i went the extremely inoptimal route Or oh, seven and one. Yep. So if you if you are not so the thing about what I'm saying is for Hunter, you need to be confident and comfortable with what you're doing. Most people have never gone through Sky Islands, let alone maybe once, and it went horribly. So going straight to Sky Islands 
you're probably gonna get karma locked in there every time because the crossings are not good and you need to know specifically how to deal with them or you can't do it it's one of the harder just things you just need to kind of know or you just kind of are going to do very, very poorly. You see it all the time. Which is why I'm going to say you should probably go to Outskirts first instead of Sky Islands. That's pretty good. Although in that case, you still have to know the, how to deal with the Outskirts toll. Which is kind of also something you kind of just need to know. Yes, delay yourself. The rocks are in the way. The lizard will lick the locks. Oh. Or he's gonna do that, I guess. You have to be comfortable in every region before you play a You don't have to go in every region. Because in a lot of regions, it's you need to know how it works and what you need to do. Per scenario. Like, I, I, for the first time I did Hunter, I went straight to outskirts. Because I knew I would be comfortable with it. Now I found out the reds were there, and that wasn't a problem for me. Because it was just an extra, one extra variable, really. By spearing the scabs, that, that's probably not the best way to do that. You can use the pearl you spawn with, if you're willing to do that, or one of the pearls on the way. One of the pearls on the way there are very good to use, but you also kind of need to know where that stash is, or you just know where one of the random spawns are. Please get him purple. Now the scavenger is still holding on. Good. Very good when lizards have something in their mouths. Vultures are never a threat, at least to me. Unless they get the squid cicada, which can happen because they get kind of... Takes a while for them to do stuff when you're in pipes. Going that, that transition there is the most dangerous one in the game. So sometimes if you think it's something bad's gonna happen, you just don't... You take it on, on one of the sides. This blue being here is really, really bad. But he didn't see us, and he moved. Hello? That is really bad, because this transition is extremely long. And I hate to lose time. You could stand still and jump straight up and make it. You need to make sure you're reset so you can grab this. To get the extra height to go up there, you need to... Do a pull up on a pole and jump, and that'll give you extra height. Jump early. You're not going too high up. I don't know why he let go of me. Oh wait, I'm, I'm doing, I was doing pilgrimage routing there for a second. Didn't want that. Jumping out of a roll with a squid doesn't seem like it's worth it unless you jump out immediately. This pipe transition is annoying because the squid can go over the top one. You just gotta kind of crouch into it. Path Farmer's gone into the hole. Yep. First time I finished the game, I had been to most rooms in the game. Every single room that I, 
I was like, oh, I haven't been there. Let's go there. Because I went to Subterranean early, and I'm like, this is the end of the game. Or this is an area I need something to regress in. When I went in the depths. It's also how I almost did the the rock skip for the first time. Don't forget to split. Oh, whatever. We're doing pretty good. We're sub 10 minutes in the wall. What do you do with the vultures in water? Depends on the situation. You're still going to do really bad, but you need to know... You need to know when to double back. It's dependent on the vulture. Regardless, you need to determine how they're acting. If, if you should go around or not. Because you technically have two choices every time it sends a spear out. And that's the double back, which will keep you in a singular spot for an extended period of time. Or you keep going the direction you're going. And you need to decide which one's the better direction. You're going to be flipping a coin a decent bit of the time. Wait. The more you watch King Vultures specifically, the more you understand. But yeah, the jetfish will it'll be better. But if you don't have a jetfish, it's a lot, you have a lot less options. That and you kind of need to know how to deal with Leviathans to some degree. Okay, these white lizards are why people don't run this game. There are four of them. And there's a lot of problems with them. Hopefully that they like to camp here. They usually don't stay licked onto the squid cicada. Usually if they grab the squid cicada, they will drop it. Because they're really going for you. Okay, that worked out well. They usually fall down there. Because they have to only stand on the pole. And it's a really small area for them. So if they start shifting too much, they'll just fall. This is the next one. He's in an okay spot. Especially now that he's looking left. I got the depths before I knew Citadel existed. I think I did too. I don't remember how I got to... Okay. I was making sure the white wasn't there. That's not very good spot for the blue. Usually the blue's never an issue, but... If he goes up, you can go under him, because he won't drop if he goes up. We still have two more white lizards. Unless some of them fell. I have one more white lizard, I mean. Let's go on the inside. Actually, no. We don't want to go on the inside here. Losing a lot of time, because I'm making bad decisions now usually one right here, but there isn't. So if you have the squid cicada in your hands, squid cicada cannot be grabbed by lizards. So if you have the squid in the way, um, you're basically invincible. As long as they don't push past the squid, that is. He's looking the wrong way. So we should be fine. However, the squid constantly makes sound, but we're fine. Um, I will sacrifice the squid. Decently often in those situations. Lost a lot of time though. I'm gonna take this spear. So we might not get one later. Well, there's a kind of bad wall. Yeah. They're not it's they're not made well. Don't hear the best. I mean, they don't. Because they tend to try to keep their... 
I mean, they don't, they certainly do hear you, but they won't react to it. I don't know why I pressed trigger. And now I press the wrong button. So now it's all stopped and I'm not gonna get to know what it is. Really thought that was gonna be another roll. ones on the, the wall they don't like to go into certain rooms and will refuse to follow you sometimes yeah right that backslide's annoying Okay. Resting, low gravity problems. Thunderhang. Yeah, I mean, they're still... Still gonna act like that. But more so on the wall. Not the best jump, but we got a spear. Spear two. You can go too fast here. All right. Now we play video game. Like any percent always intended. Shouldn't have held up. Ooh, we're lucky. Probably rolled a bit longer than I should have. That was okay, though. An 8 out of 10. You probably will, because farmer raise is a bit unintuitive. Outskirts, industrial, and chimney is this game to me. There's a lot more places like outskirts and industrial. That's basically a, the standard for how the game is, in my mind. Oh, 
probably didn't need to pounce, but... A lot of ways to do this room. I still do it the old way of just pouncing across. Just because you can safely do it in terms of those lizards. The salamander's in a good spot. What do you mean of 8 out of 10? In terms of difficulty or... That always depends. There's no gimmick other than the toll when you first enter. There's no gimmick to outskirts. It's just raw it. So it's all about you and what you know. Which is what I think is a lot better. Oh, I didn't hold up fast enough. That's unfortunate. Lost a bit of time there. I'm being lazy now. The thing about sky ions and stuff is that it's difficult because they're gimmicks. And usually the difficulty is going to be there because of the gimmick. I could just play the game the way it is with no extra special stuff. It would always be fine. It's only got me twice. Yep. Yeah, they're not they're not too bad. You need to know where you think they would show up, or at least a better way to put it is if a red was to show up from one of these pipes right now, would I be in danger? That's the mentality you need to have. And like not even necessarily like through a pipe, but just like if it was in the next screen transition and I just can't hear it or know that it's there yet. They make a lot of sound. And you just need to know that they're not there. That's pretty good. Stunned me there. Sometimes you want to purposely... That's bad. Sometimes you want to purposely make sound just so the moles react to it and move slower. Because they'll, they'll stand still for a second. And maybe they, like, kind of know you're there. But if you throw a rock, they'll kind of, like, stand still, light up, and be like, oh, there's something there. There's not a lot of situations where you need to do that for that to help you out. But it is certainly something that can happen. Beautiful. Fortunate. Spooky land, yes. Almost fell. I'm annoyed now. 
Ever die to that fall while speedrunning? That fall? I don't think so. The fall after the Guardians, yes, once. I think I died to that fall before. That, the mineshaft fall behind us. Um, when I was doing something else, though. I was trying to go really, really fast. The only thing I care about the mineshaft fall anymore is to be going head first down. So that I can go immediately into the pipe. Didn't do that movement too well. And I'm not really paying attention to throwables. Cloud jump. Fall damage in industrial. You died to fall damage in industrial? Where? Can you, did you fall down near shaded? Can that even kill you? I guess it's three screens. Cling to wall. Yes. But you can die on this fall. And normally it's very, very hard to because there's a slight. Um motion upwards pulling you upwards so it's even harder to die like you just jump straight off and you don't try to roll if you try to roll you don't die if you're holding a downwards directional oh my goodness but maybe the water drop i don't think you can die there Push me off the tower. I mean, that's more of falling off and dying to the kill box than fall damage. Spears are not useful um, in this area simply because we need to be holding more throwables. If we're holding a spear, we can't pick up another spear. Probably wasn't the best use of that. I didn't want to run all. I didn't split earlier. I was really hoping that would be a roll. Here's the place where you get to play catch with yourself, depending on how you set it up. I should slide right there for this next part, but I don't care too much. There's so few places in this game you can actually die to fall damage, though. I do have to say. Very, very, very few. It's mostly ravine, though. Mostly ravine or the stun killing you for some other reason. The ravine and subterranean for farmer race. Do it pretty easy on law? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So I'll go on to Linda. Isn't this a new record? I have no idea. 29, 25. I didn't split multiple times in a row, so I have no idea. Is it? Really? <laughs> I am not paying attention. 
We were 30 seconds behind for a while. Raccoons was the monk percent. Was raccoons better than my monk percent? I don't remember. Because wasn't Hepamez only just barely under, under 30, actually? Yeah, we lost 30 seconds in the wall, and then this is just everything else was me being better at everything else. Maybe you remember Mark that's what I thought. Is it better than this time? I don't remember. It is better than this time, that's what I thought. Twenty-eight. Yeah, that makes sense. If you, if we're true, because I always thought, I don't know, you had to be super, super good to do it, and I know a raccoon can do it. I'll have to see how good they are with the fast pole climbs, but. The only area of the game I don't like playing more than once: the swim or all of depths. Because for the speed run. Um, if you were to do speedruns, literally just don't do this if you want to. I used to be like, oh no, we still include it, but whatever. You don't need to play this part if you don't want to. Although, if you beat the game, if you do a new record, you might as well beat it. Come on. Back here. Uh, okay. Speed run, rain world. He had a forty seven out of twenty five. All right. Makes sense. My biggest problem was not the wall. Got back, just missed it. So yes, 20, 29, 25 for the first time I've run this category in ages. Pretty good. We need to rename the string split. It's right here. It's right here, I still runs. This time right here. We lost half a minute on the wall, so. Can't see on my phone. Read harder. Squint more. Actually, wait, because it doesn't matter. Uh, can you read it now? You doing it? <laughs> Does this help? Hope it helps. <laughs> I remember the old slug cat from Jolly Quote. Yes. Wonder how that moves. Every time I've seen it, I'm like, that doesn't. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Can you roll? <laughs> Than intended to be three tiles big, yes. Even the one tile is a little weird, but it still makes sense. Still feels like it should be just smaller overall, not one tile tall. I'm so round.
accidentally split again. Did save that? Yeah, it did. I didn't think the auto split have worked on this. This set of splits. Yeah, it's active. Raccoon, you did get sub 29, which makes sense. I didn't basically die to the white lizards. Probably would have had time right next to yours. I feel like I should play on Monk, not Survivor. Just surprising. I've never. Oh, I've never had the blue lizard actually waste time. things give me a second we're gonna continue runs after this give me a second if you have a favor I have not played a lot of mods I have not been terribly incentivized to really mess with them too much Still, I'm going to say, I mean, it was already, I think I'm rare to kind of say it. This is something I always say to anyone who's been rec doing any re type of recording or otherwise just doing really good stuff on Rain World or any other game is that really consider just streaming or if you need any help with recording, whatever. I don't think you do, but. A lot of people always had issues and stuff like that, and I can always help with anything on that end. I have a a video actually for setting up streams, but I don't know how much that is even interesting, or if you're even still there. I didn't. There's also this 